Clinton Cast is here with Johnny Nelson. What's happening, Johnny? I'm cool, man. You cool? cool? Yeah. You good? Was, last time I saw you, the sun was like hotting you up in White City. You're like, you're like turning blacker than me. How can you get away with saying shit like that? Because I'm black. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> uh, yeah, summary of the show tonight in Newcastle. Uh, good show. It's good. Good chance to see uh, the youngsters coming through. Uh, good chance for them to, to top the bill and prepare themselves, or, or be on at a decent time where the fans can see them uh, and prepare themselves for the big time. So uh, yeah, like I lo love Josh Kelly. Wicked. He reminded me of a, uh, a young Naz. His attitude when he got in the ring, slipping the shots, his arrogance, and you can see if he carries that on. Um, um, people expect that you'll either love him or love him, but I, I like him. Uh, sort of the debut of Natasha Jones as well tonight. Yeah, yeah Natasha. Spoke to Natasha, and she'd be more than happy with uh, with that. Stopped too early the fight. Yeah, it could have been. Uh, maybe, maybe Natasha needed a few rounds to to, to show what she's got because she she was very tense, for, very tense that first round. Uh, but I think she needed that. She needed to turn pro. She needed to make a difference to uh, to to. If she'd have stayed in amateur, well, which she didn't, she packed in. She'd have walked away from the game. I think turning pro is a great opportunity for her to to show us what talent she's got left. Mm. Right, let's talk about August 26th, Miguel Cotto. Yeah. What do you What do you reckon? What are you asking me? <laughs> <laughs> Mayweather McGregor. Yeah. August 26th. I think uh, what are we saying? you've got to give credit to McGregor. Are people are forgetting that. McGregor is stepping into, into, into our world, into, into Mayweather's world. Mayweather was the best of the best. Even accomplished fighters couldn't beat Mayweather. But, but what, what McGregor's done is McGregor's accomplished a, 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 a UFC and he's saying, you know what, I'm going to do that. No disrespect to, to Floyd because Floyd, I rated the guy's a god when it comes to boxing. But would he have done it, would it be the other way around? Would he have stepped to the UFC and said, right, I'm going to fight you, McGregor, because I can think I can beat you? We don't think so. But Mayweather's thinking, I wouldn't do that, he's crazy. I wouldn't step into his game because he's king of the hill. But he's stepping into my game. So he's accommodated him, saying, yeah, come on, let's have it. So you've got to give McGre uh, McGregor all the props in the world for his cojones, his attitude, his, uh, his, his bottle to say, I can do this. And not many people will believe he can pull it off because we can't see it. But don't, think, don't say it's an impossible task. I'm just saying it's a tough, tough task for him. Floyd's been out for a while. Floyd's saying, look, I don't box anymore, but if you want to do this, I'll train for you. Um, I, I rate him. This is why I rate, I, I rate McGregor for, um, for taking this fight on. Is it good for boxing, though? We're going to watch. You're going to watch. No matter, the, the naysayers will try and slag it down and say it's, it's garbage. Why is it garbage? Because they're going to watch. They're going to watch no matter what. Why does it grow so much money? Why is it so interesting? Because, uh, uh, people are intrigued. They're curious to see how it goes. We're all the three six we can find out. Johnny Nelson, thank you very much for talking to IFL Are you going to be there? Maybe. Might need your help. Are you getting the country? Because your passport's a bit, you know what I mean? See you in a bit. <laughs> Please.